Hello and welcome. Today I'm not making any kind of repair video or anything else. Basically I'm just playing around with this uh, leader audio generator um, because somebody wants to buy it from me and I think I might sell it to them. Um, especially since I, don't, since I don't have very much uh, work space on my bench which is like really tiny. And what I'm going to do right now is I've got two audio generators. One of them is going to be this leader audio generator and the other one is my big one, my HP 3325 which is a pretty um, big and highly accurate piece of equipment. That's going to be my standard. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is try to see how accurate this thing is compared to my standard. Of course you have to have a standard which is accurate or else this test basically is not going to make sense. So I'm going to feed in a sine wave into one vertical um, amplifier of the oscilloscope and I'm going to feed in a sine wave into the basically the horizontal um, amplifier of the oscilloscope and for that I have to put the scope into XY mode that's a little bit different on every scope in order to produce a um, so-called listed juice pattern Here you can see my basic connection. Um, the test leads I'm holding here are coming from my standard, the HP 3325. And this probe here that's hooked up to my X input, my horizontal input. And of course the other one here, um, got to watch these connections here. This is coming from the leader lag, and that's going to my uh, my Y input, the um, vertical input. And what I'm going to be doing now is feeding in a thousand hertz signal from both um, audio generators, and I've got both putting out about the same output. And this is what I'm getting here. So I know the leaders on the one, the pointers on 1000, but here on my HP 3325, that's on 1002. So I suspect, but the pointer on my leader is slightly off. Sometimes here you might have to play with the uh, controls for B channel so you can get a nice uh, reading here. Now when I go ahead and vary the dial of the leader, um, what I'm looking for, this is going to turn in basically into a, should turn into a circle and it should become stationary or almost stationary. That's going to tell me that both the frequencies from both audio generators are the same. Let me go ahead and try to vary that here. Try to hold the camera in one hand and get the control. You can see it's already slowing down here. There you go. And I gotta get try to get this um, to slow down. Again, you might have to play with the controls here to get it to show a circle. Um, it's kind of hard to show this with because I'm holding the camera up here. So if we go down here, we can see how much the leader is off. Um, the 100 represents 1000 hertz because I'm on the time tens range. The 150 represents 1500 hertz. And the first mark here would be 1100 hertz or um, 1100 hertz. And you can see I am actually, with this camera here, I can't, that's about as close as I can get it. So the leader I think is rated at uh, plus or minus three percent which would be in this case since it's a thousand Hertz it would be 30 Hertz up or 30 Hertz down so basically um, I would say the leader is still uh, within specs now I'm going to take both generators down to a hundred Hertz Now both 
generators now are at 100 hertz and here you can see the output you see, I've got a nice big round circle which is almost stationary you need to get this thing as stationary as you possibly can and if we look down at the pointer here now we're pretty reasonably we're pretty reasonably close of course I could what I could do is try out a bunch of different frequencies now here's 10,000 Hertz and here is the dial pointer for 10,000 Hertz and it's actually pretty close it depends upon how you hold the camera too I think I'm holding this straight now because of parallax error and um, might sometimes seem off but you can see there um, it is I think it is actually pretty close for 10,000 Hertz and again the percentage is plus or minus 3% 10,000 that would be it could be we could have up to 300 Hertz um, either way plus or minus and we would still be still be within specifications so looks good okay now I decided to do one very last one before I use the other audio generator and this one's at 70 Hertz here I've got a nice round circle and you can see I'm basically almost on the money I'm right over 70 Hertz it's kind of hard to get this thing exact just by hand so let me go ahead and try out the other audio generator okay now I've got the HP 3025 set up for 70 Hertz and the here the oscillator output from my distortion meter that's at 70.1 I actually have to get it down to 70 I don't know why it's on point 0.1 now let me do adjust that okay it's on 70 now and here's the output so basically I'd say this is a little a little off let me go ahead and adjust it down 69.9 Go the other way. 70 .3, 70 .2, 70 point, This is 70.1 and this thing is not off by very much so far. See so 70.1.1. It's basically it. So let me go ahead and try a different frequency the standard 1000 Hertz test frequency you see I got a nice big round circle there again you might have to do some adjusting here with your gain controls if it doesn't look right so here's 1000 Hertz both generator set up for 1000 Hertz and you can see we've got some movement now I'm gonna go see if I go up or down I'm gonna go up see if that note going the wrong way that's 1004 Hertz See if I go like that and it just gets ridiculous. So that's 1001 hertz. That's about as close as I can get it. See it's off like it's off maybe by one hertz. I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust my HP 3325 and see if I can't get the pattern to stop totally or very close I can basically get the pattern to almost stop at a thousand and here you see thousand and point two Hertz but the generator is displaying a thousand let me go ahead and readjust this to a thousand and then go ahead and uh, do the other generator again and see if I can get the pattern to stop. So I got this on this uh, distortion meter 
audio oscillator on a thousand. It's a 1000 hertz sine wave. And here is a pattern. It's round, but it's uh, moving, so the frequencies are still off from each other. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the HP 3325 and see when I can get it to the pattern to stop. And that means both frequencies are um, pretty near equal or equal. You can see the bottom generator showing 1000 hertz and the top one showing 999.34. And if we look at the scope, this is what we're getting. So the pattern here is around and it's almost come to a complete stop. So I would say I'm about off about 0.7 hertz. So anyways, um, you get the general idea. I hope this wasn't too boring or too, uh, too weird. And it kind of made a little bit of sense. Basically, I'm just playing around here, that's all. Um, again, you have to have a pretty reasonably accurate um, standard or reference generator in order to do this, uh, basically to do this test.